Welcome back to 30 Days of Lightroom. In this video, we're gonna be discussing profiles in Lightroom. We're gonna cover the two different types of profiles, how you use profiles, and of course, how to import profiles. So let's hop right into this video by talking about what exactly is a profile. Now, a profile is simply a look applied to your image. We can quickly see that right now we're using the Adobe Portrait Profile. If we change to the Adobe Vivid Profile, we change the look of our image. We can see we have a lot more contrast, a lot more saturation. We can also try the Adobe Color and Adobe Monochrome. Again, all different looks to our image. So a profile is simply a look that you're applying to your image. It is slightly different than a preset because a profile does not actually change your settings. It just changes the overall look applied to your photo. So as I mentioned before, there are two types of profiles. We have camera matching profiles. You'll notice these are very similar to the profiles you have that you can select in camera. I really like using Adobe Portrait, for example. And we also have creative profiles. If we click this little icon of four boxes to the right, we can open our profile browser and you can see we have our camera matching profiles that Adobe provides for us. We have some monochrome profiles, a flat profile, which is kind of nice to edit with. We have some other Adobe raw profiles. We have some old Adobe profiles, legacy profiles, black and white artistic. And here you can see we have these creative profiles down here, for example, vintage. This is another set of profiles that comes with Lightroom. And I have a couple of my own profiles Again, these are creative profiles that apply a certain look to my image. And what's great about creative profiles is I now get the option, you can see this amount slider here at the top, I can decide how much I want this profile to affect my image. Here's about 39%, 60%, we have 100%, and then you can over crank it, for example, to 200%. And that really doesn't work well for this profile. So typically I keep it around 100. Here's an example of another profile I created based on a LUT. And I have a video on exactly how to transform a LUT into a Lightroom profile. And I will have that linked in the description. Again, you can see here, I can really turn up that amount and really apply that effect. Or I can turn that amount way down. So that is really the difference between a creative and a color matching profile. I kind of like the way this cool and lifted profile looks. Again, one of my cool and lifted LUTs just changed into a Lightroom profile so I can apply it directly in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and we will close our profile browser. Maybe I'll turn down this creative LUT just a touch. Let's try about 80% kind of like the way that looks. Now, I think it's important to mention that I highly recommend shooting raw. And if you're not shooting raw and you're just shooting JPEG, you will not have the ability to select any of these camera matching profiles. You will only be able to use these color grading or these creative profiles. If you're shooting JPEG, your camera is automatically baking one of these profiles into your image. And unlike a raw image, you cannot change that. Even if you were to select a creative profile, you will be limited in the amount you can use that creative profile before you essentially break your image. There's only so much editing you can do to a JPEG image before it breaks. And I highly recommend you check out my raw versus JPEG video to learn the big differences between shooting and editing raw versus JPEG. So we saw in my profile browser that I had imported some of my own creative profiles. How exactly did I do that? All you have to do is go up to file, import, develop profiles and presets, hit that and then select your XMP profile. And XMP is the standard format for profiles and I can select these and import, but I've already imported these profiles here. We can select one of those and that actually looks pretty good. I kind of like the way that looks on this photo. I may turn down the effect a little bit. Maybe I'll see what it looks like. Nope, nope, turned up, doesn't look great. I think right around 100% looks good and we can hit close. So that is how you import a profile. And again, if you want to create your own profiles, 
based on LUTs in Adobe Camera Raw. I will have that tutorial linked in the description below. So that is really all you need to know about profiles in Adobe Lightroom Classic. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you found it useful, hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share this video with a friend. And until next time, get out and go shoot.